Welcome to session one. In this session, we'll be looking at place value. Place value refers to the position of a digit in a number. Based on the position of a digit, the value will be different. Let's look at a number. Three, six, four, five, two, one, three. Now notice there are two digits that are the same but the value of these two digits are going to be different. Why? Because it is placed in a different position in the number. Now, to easily determine the place value of digits in numbers, we can insert them into a place value table. Here, I have already inserted a table for you. This is called a place value chart. Now, to insert a numeral into the place value chart, we must start with the digits to the right. So I'm going to start with this tree and I'm going to insert it into my ones column. Then I'm going to insert my one into my tens column. My two goes into my hundreds column. My five into my thousands column, my four goes into the tens of thousands column, six goes into the hundreds of thousands column, and finally the three goes into my millions. Now let us examine where each digit was placed. My three was placed into my ones, so the place value of the tree is going to be ones. The place value of my one is going to be 10. The place value of my two is going to be 100. My five, thousand. My four, 10,000. My six, 100,000 and my three million. Notice that each place value has a value of 10 times the place value to its right. So 10 is 10 times 1. 100 is 10 times 10. 1000, 10 times 100 and so on. Now, if we were asked what is the place value of, let us say, the digit 6, the place value of the 6 is going to be hundreds of thousands. So we can write hundred of thousand. Or we can write 100,000. Both is equally correct. Now, what is the difference between place value and value? Now, the value of a digit is how much a digit is actually worth based on the position that the digit is placed in the number. Now, that may be kind of confusing. Let us take, for example, the 6. The 6 has a place value of 100 of 1,000. So to determine the value of the 6, I simply multiply the digit 6 by its place value, which is 100,000. And we get 600,000. Now, let us take another number. Let's say we have 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Let's put a 1 in front here. Now, I'm going to determine the place value and the value of different digits in this number. So firstly, remember, we must start inserting our numeral from our digit to the right. So my 2 is going to go into my 1s. 3 goes here. 4. Then 5, 6, 7, 8 and 1. 
Now, if we were asked what is the place value of, let us say, the digit 8. So the place value of the digit 8 is going to be, let us look in the table here, our 8 fell into the millions column. So the place value is going to be 1 million or millions. Now what is the value of the digit 8? We simply take the digit 8 and multiply it by our place value which is 1 million and we get 8 million. Okay, let us look at reading numerals. Now, all numbers in our number system is separated into groups of three digits starting from the right using a comma. Now, let us take for example our number 3, 6, 4, 5, 2, 1, 3. We start to circle our groups from the right. Each group has three digits. Now this tree is going to fall into its own group because this is the only digit that is remaining after we are finished circling from the right. Now each group is called a period. The period or the group from my utmost right is called my ones period. So this group here is going to fall into my ones period. This other group here is going to fall into my thousands period. And you can see the different periods in my place value chart here. Then this tree is going to fall into my millions period. Now, once we can read any three digit number, we can read all numbers. So let us pull out from this number here, the period ones. So the period ones in this number has the digits two, one, and three. Now remember periods are different from place value. So within this period ones, my tree has the place value of ones, my one has the place value of tens, and my two has the place value of hundreds. So to read this number here, it is going to be two hundred and 13. Let's take out the digits from my thousands period. So 645 belongs to my thousands period. Within this period, I have these digits and my 5 belongs to my 1's place value. My 4 belongs to my 10's place value and my six belongs to my hundreds place value. So to read that digit, it is going to be 600 and 45. Now, when we put these periods together, this is where we have large numerals being formed. Now let us read our number with all the periods together. It's going to be, I'm going to write underneath here, 3 million and 45 thousand two hundred 
200 and 13. Now, after we say the word 100, we must say the word and or write the word and. Notice I have and here and and here and they both come after the word 100. This is usually done. Now, commas I usually put to separate my periods. Notice even when I wrote the numeral in words, I used a comma to separate my periods. So there's one comma there and there's another comma here. Right? So I have three periods in all. So I used this first comma to separate my first period, which was 3 million. This comma here was put to separate this period, which is 645,000. And then finally, 213 is my last period. Now we must always say the name of the period after each period when reading the number or writing it, except for the period ones. So notice I said the word million, which is this period here, three million. Then I said the word thousand after this period here, 645,000 and then finally 213. I didn't say 213 ones. The only period name that I don't say is the ones period. So when put together, my number becomes 3,645,213. Now let's take another number. One, zero, four, five, two, zero, seven. I want to read this number. So in order to read the number, I must group my digits into their different periods. Label my periods. Remember, I start labeling from the right. So this is my ones period. This is my thousands period. And this is my millions. So I'm going to read firstly my ones period. This is 207. Let's look at my thousands period. Now this digit may seem difficult to read because of the zero at the beginning. But all I do is I simply list out my place value. My five belongs to my ones, my four to my tens, and my zero to my hundreds. There's no hundreds in this case. So my number is simply 45. Now, let me put all the periods together and read the numeral. Remember, we say the name of the period after each period, except for ones. So this number is going to read 1 million, comma, 45,000, Two hundred and seven. Good. Now, just to recap, in today's session, we looked at place value, value, and reading numerals. If you liked this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more of my videos.